Welcome everyone, uh, we do have some news for Hogwarts Legacy, I am your host Alex Adolphus, I am sorry about those who actually saw the, the um, previous video I had up, I deleted that, I decided 40, 45 minutes, or just over 45 minutes, no, 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 not good enough, it's not good enough because there are a few things I'd like to go over, one, if you have a gaming laptop that has 32 gig, go out and buy 64 gig sodium RAM right now. Trust me, you'll thank me for it. And I do mean, you will thank me for it. And by thanking me for it, you'll be able to run 4K specs. Your OS system, which is Windows, it ain't. It ain't Mac. Unless you want it to be Macintosh. That's up to you. Like Macintosh has a reputation of not being able to have great RAM. But with Windows OS, 64 gig to actually run 4K specs at, on 32 gig stick of RAM is, is better. It means game can run and not fault up because of your OS using I think it's about one point something gig of RAM or just one gig of RAM. Like I said, you'll thank me for it. Um, bit of a bug with the Magical Beast Avatar bundle. As you can see from here, I have two pink purplish birds and not high wing. The Hippogriff. This is a bug and I'm calling it as such. So, I don't know if um, PlayStation's gonna be fixing it. I have no idea. But it is a bug. Also, the grip, the um, grip horn is a big puppy dog. It's a big doggo in itself. Also, I'd like to point out that this is for the Haunted Hogsmeade. So, Sweet Glimpse, aka Honey Dukes. Ravenclaw, and then you just go to the purchase options. <laughs> Quest steps 5 to 8 have been open for Hogwarts Legacy's Cup. Um, there's nothing there for Hufflepuff, especially the trait. I have to pick honesty. Uh, another thing you should also know that and be aware of. Quest Step 8 is, there's no wrong answers, it's just virtually what are you excited about in Hogwarts Legacy. I just put, I'm excited for everything in Hogwarts Legacy. So yes, you do have to watch the trailer, yes, you do have to go to the pre-order page, and then it's just answering these two questions. There's nothing there for Hufflepuffs, trust me. And we can, by 0 0.2 points, yes. Yes. Um... Also, Wizarding Wednesday competition winners. Uh, I'd like to congratulate the week one, week two winners. Uh, week three is actually up. The ten winners in the US of the Magic Castle one. Congratulations to you, lucky ten winners. Uh, DU did have a winner for the Hogwarts Legacy Collector's Edition with a PS5. Yes, the disc-based console, not the digital base. And great congratulations to week two winner who actually had the tickets for um, Hagrid's Huddy with a goodie bag that they can pick up on the 18th or 19th of this month. Please, please tag me in your photo of that goodie bag. I would love to see it. For Mexico, someone won the main prize. Well, first week prize, uh, second week prize, congratulations, they're Milena books, they're great, I still need to grab my two. They should have um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban coming out soon. You, you didn't hear that from me, okay, that, 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 you didn't hear that from me, I'm just guessing. Um, if I was Gryffindor, I'd be ashamed, in this, in just this itself on average points, I would be completely ashamed, okay. I would be completely ashamed. Uh, yes, there is a another. Uh, let's see. 
30, 80, 105 more points to be added. So these unlock on the 9th, next week. So do remember. So if you're, yes, you're seeing 4 a.m. That is Australian time. Um, anything else I need to go over before anything? Uh, yes, before I do forget, UK and Ireland, your third week prize is a double deluxe pass to War Brothers Studios London, making of Harry Potter tour. The winner needs for them and their friend, if they take their friend or family member, get there early for the for that delicious breakfast. Is all I'm gonna say. I don't know why my left ear is actually blocked. It shouldn't be blocked. Uh, I did the deep. I did a in my last video. I did go. I did break down Missing Worlds deep dive. Uh, whoever did that deep dive, you get an F double minus. I'm sorry, but you. Let me explain one thing. The dragon that we see, and I do mean the dragon that we do see in the trailer, is a Hagrid in black. It's been spotted in the trailers, it's been spotted number of times in, in such, uh, including state of play. And the reason I can say it's a Hagrid in black. Um, I did see the, an actual image there. Uh, someone in the, this is from the um, actually, this one looks a lot more better. Uh, let me just uh, open image. Oh god, that's too small. There we go. Please go back and redo that. Okay. This is what a Howdy in Black is. We know it. We broke down the State of Play trailer I did. I broke that State of Play video down. Easily. And we're eight minutes in. Yay! I just... I really hate when people just go... Oh, this is, uh... Um... Magisola is, is wanting to know what this breed of dragon is. We know the breed of dragon. It ain't that hard. It's a hair hair beating hit it beating black. I don't even have to go through the show play gameplays. All you have to do is just go through anyone who has done early review of it, along with their first impressions. They will have they will have the game play of it. I can say expected goes. James, I'm using this. Please don't. I'm. I'm just going to go straight to here. That was a Hepardian black. Hepardian black. 
So I'm sorry to the person at Wizarding World who did the deep dive. We can call the dragon a Hepidian Black. And also, I'd like to thank Howard's legacy here. Uh, James, I'm, I'm still I'm still working on what I want, what I'm breaking down on this Howard's legacy early review quest gameplay. I am still working on my notes for this video. I am really need to double down on the video on my notes itself. I will let, I will ask you again if I can use this video. Your early gameplay early Hogwarts Hogwarts Legacy early preview quest gameplay. I will ask you again. Actually, I'm gonna ask you right now. Um you getting a free shout out here, mate. I just, I just sent you a, I just left the comment, James. I know, I know you're watching, James. I know one of us entertainment, copyright teams watching as well. I know they're watching. I know the merchandise team is watching too. Uh, Whereas, I don't I usually have one of my wands. I have three wands. One I have to replace and two replace holders. The one I have to replace is a Mighty Granger's wand because someone used that for cosplay. Instead of for display purpose only. The Harry Potter and Voldemort ones I have, that I brought for $10 each, they're placeholder ones for the actual one. Those are the two I am going to be hunting down, but I am definitely going to have to hunt down for the a replacement one for the Hermione Granger. But anyway, uh, thank you to Hogwarts Legacy, the team behind Hogwarts Legacy, which is Evelyn Studios. And Avalanche Software, Warner Bros. Entertainment, Warner Bros. Entertainment Copyright Team, Warner Bros. Merchandise Team, JK Rowling herself, yes, I know, I have to acknowledge her. No, I'm not going down that transphobic Rubicon rabbit hole that everyone w wants to pull up. Okay, enough. Enough of that. We don't need that. No one should actually be berated by your view. Or anyone else's view. Yes, we can have a opinion for discussion purpose. Not oh, this person said something horrible about transphobic person. Um, does anyone actually know the full story? Because from what I hear, it was just a badge that J.K. Rowling was upset about, and everyone's just full football blown into out of proportion of um, transphobic attack. Please don't. Okay? Get the full story behind what happened before you open your damn mouth and put your foot into it. I am staying well and truly away from that rabbit hole. Though I do actually have the rabbit hole a whole slew of things this year. So hopefully I can get to them. The biggest one is going to be Dungeons and Dragons. Oh boy, that's a whole series that's going to be going on for weeks and weeks and months. Probably all year by the time I get... Probably for the rest of the year by the time I get around. Get done with it. The Star Wars one will be done between those. Uh, the Harry Potter one. I'm not going to rabbit hole that because it all starts back in the 90s. I didn't even know what Harry Potter was in the 90s until 2000. I was bored, I picked up Harry Potter and Philosopher's Stone, um, Goblet, no, Prison of Azkaban and Goblet of Fire from my local library that I go to. They were there. I started reading. 
I was like, where's book two? Oh, well, no book two. Because, like, uh, third year, where's the second one? I couldn't find it. I started reading it. And I have never looked back. Let me look at my bookcase that I have. Oh, yes, there's Goosebumps books. The 30. I used to have a full set of over 90-something Goosebumps books. I should have kept that set. Um, I have Ever After High. Uh, Descendants. I have The Avengers. I also have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Play, parts 1 and 2. Uh, I have J.K. Rowling's The Casual Vacancy, which is a very good book. I have The Tour Quest by Emily Roder. I also have Tales of Horror by H.P. Lovecraft. So the grip poem is probably based on H.P. Lovecraft in Monster, but anyway. Let's, uh... Jump straight in and break down Hogwarts Legacy's trailer. Also rated M in Australia by the Australian Classification Board. Uh, let's go back. Love this. Love this. Uh, we have Hogsmeade Station, Ashton Inn, uh, Brook Baron. Baron. Or Brook Baron, I should say. Uh, we do have Hogsmeade here. Uh, we have another sign that's uh, potion supplies. Ooh. Uh, anyone know what that sign is? Uh, let me just check. Uh, yes. Uh, that looks like it's. Uh... I can't tell until I actually have the game. But we do have a sign for Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Straight down this path, please. As we can see with the students. Beautiful shot there of Hogwarts, like of Hogwarts in the background with Quidditch. Love it. Love that waterfall too. Love the door. Uh, we have one student. It's like, oh, new, oh, the new fifty is in. He's came in. So anyway, oh yeah, it is. Um, I'd like to point out this. We have seen this book cover before, but we never saw these two emblems. Uh, it's actually great to see those two emblems. Also. This is the field guide that we get from Ministry of Magic as well, so do keep in mind. Okay, we have magical creatures and such. Uh, let me just go back and then uh, I'm, I'm just going to put it down to 0. 0.5. It's easier. So we have magical creature. We got um, something as well. Magical fauna. Locate people. Uh, that would be locations. That would be day night cycle. Uh, we do have magical creatures, so like hippogriffs, uh, dragons, and such. So we are going to be encountering a number of magical creatures in this. Yes, one of those games. Yes, thank you. Wizarding World, porting, port key games, Avalanche Studios. We know this from an image that was actually shared to Hogwarts Legacy community page on over on the Hogwarts Legacy website. That image has been taken down. Oh, and also I'd like to point out this looks like it's um, a certain hut or something. Any guess what this is? Because I can take a guess as Transfiguration Classroom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That owl is Matilda Weasley. She's an Agamemnon. We have Mandrakes. Uh, we have Professor, a uh, herbology teacher. Uh, let me just bring up the list of names I should actually have up. We have Mirabel 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 Gallic, Matilda Weasley, for Transfiguration. Uh, actually, correction: Deputy Headmistress Matilda Weasley. For Transfiguration. 
here we have uh, Care for Magical Creatures. The reason I can say this is Care for Magical Creatures is because this is actually a unicorn. So let's just uh, go forward. That is a unicorn, not a Patronus. That is a Kelpie, Mermaid. That is a Father Salamander. And she actually has both arms. It's just her right arm is behind her back. So whoever did deep dive for her Wizarding World, this is exactly how you do a deep dive and break down. I hope you're taking notes because this is up care for magical creature, for magical creatures professor. Everyone said, oh, but it's not, it is. This is outside, because if you want to know how I know it's the Care for Magical Creatures, this is Puppy Sweeney. This is Puppy Sweeney, right here. And yes, that is a drawing of a Kelpie, a poorly drawn image of a Kelpie. Just like how this is a poorly drawn image of a mermaid and a fire salamander. Also, if, her, if she was one arm, we would see what's behind this arm, as in, this arm would be gone. As in, her right arm would be gone. Yes, she's standing, holding her one, with one arm behind her back. It's not that hard to do. And, for the record, this is the first time we are seeing a professor with a one in their left hand. Okay, we good now? Good. Oh, and we have this bird as well. I keep forgetting its name. Though it actually loves to disappear and reappear it anywhere it wants to. So if you've played Hogwarts, Harry Potter Mystery of Hogwarts, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because this is one of the early magical creatures that we actually unlock. Ooh, I remember this room. State of play. <laughs> and yes, I do mean state of play. That's accurate being used. Ooh, 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 uh, Here's some early history of the 1800s. There's an image of a penny fouling for Muggle Studies. I think this is Muggle Studies. Though, uh, we can see Loomis, Lumos, here. Uh, another magic spell. Ooh, I love the medieval torture device. The Iron Maiden. <laughs> it, it literally was the, was the number one torture device. The Iron Maiden. The only problem is, uh, yes, this magic. Uh, yeah, I'd like to point out one thing our uh, character will have in their ear is early earplugs. The ones that go with the ear itself have not been invented. And then we have everyone else just holding their left ear, yanking the mandrake up and just, in, just enduring the scream. Ooh, also, I'd like to point out the desk in the background. Oh, and uh, before we do actually continue, I like to point out the the uh, venomous tactilla here. So let's go back here. Uh, Professor Hecat here uses Levioso, not Leviosa. This is Levioso. Levioso makes the whole person levitating now. Also, she's very good, too. Ooh, I like that one of hers. Can we actually have that one, please? A weak opponent. I love the books, and this is the first time seeing Mr. Ol one of Mr. Ollivander's ancestors. It's just perfect. Ah, 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 ah. 
Ooh, we had the engine one. <laughs> I thought it would be bigger, as in like from here to here, but this is small. This is small for a one. I think I'm going to be enjoying that one a lot more than my normal one. In Hogwarts Legacy. And yeah, I do mean Miss Ollivander's ancestor right here. Ferrarium. Um, to Wizarding World? Yes, that is Deek. This health house house here is Deek. You got it now? Because if you actually go back through for um state of play and I think um another bit no, it is state of play. It is the state of play. Have closed caption on. This area is completely new. I don't know. I I don't even have a guess for this. I'm I'm completely I'm completely baffled by this. This place. I mean, it's it just screams we have this ancient magic here. But I have no idea what this place is until the game. Uh, let me just uh, break down this part. Uh, hey, Rockwood, would you like me to Avada Kedavra ya? I think that's one good way of getting rid of ya. And then your little goblin friends as well. Uh, this looks like it's Medusa's head up here, but it's not. That looks like it is a carving of a deer head. I'm looking for OBS. Hi! So, there's a skull here with antlers, twisted. Uh, we do have brooms, as we saw here as well. This is our first time inside Freak Broom 6. I, I'm, I don't know if this is Solo Slim, though it kind of looks like it's Merlin. It looks like it's Merlin. And this would be a Pan Sieve. Oh, I love the boxes. I love these boxes and these boxes and the boxes up here and, and, and these ones. I just... Also, uh, we've seen one of these before. Uh, hint, hint. Divination. Uh, who is the Professor of Divination? That we know from the Harry Potter series. Also, I love love this. So, Mr. Lavender here said it, extraordinary. And I still love that box. I want that box with the Ancient One in it. That would have been a whole lot more better than the ch hunk of pl chunk of plastic that is with the Collector's Edition. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want this book. I want this book. Oh, and I also want what's in the chamber as well. Also, um, let me go back. We can interact with that, I'm guessing. I'm, I'm only guessing. I know what I mean. I am only guessing that we can interact with what's here. Ooh, also, uh, that image. Can anyone tell what that is? Down in the comments below, please. I would like to hear that. Uh, we have Stone Knights. We all know those Stone Knights. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stay to play. Stay to play video. Shout out. <laughs> Apart from that, this is stay to play. This isn't. 
Ooh, we see that spell. And I do mean we've seen that spell. Uh, I've seen it twice. Giant Silver Knight. This is new. And this is High Wing. New. Ooh. That, that sword. That sword, it's more than just a broad sword. Uh, we've seen this. This is Horntail Hall. Yeah, Horntail Hall. State of play. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the ancient, or oh, that's the um, our character's new one. Not entirely sure. Uh, this is new. Um, also, Hogwarts is in the background here, so we are behind Hogwarts. It's not Hogsmeade. I said this is new. New character here. Yay, High Wing. Forbidden Forest section, anyone? The reason why I can say that is because, um, well, what do you expect when you see these signs? Especially that spider one. And over here. Yeah. Let's just, uh, I'm gonna go down to 25. Good shot. That. That. We know a certain mark called, or a spell called, or Morse murder. We know a spell that is that. I'm looking at the time. We're, 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 we're doing good. We're doing good. I'm just back up to 75. And there's the Hebridean Black. Well done, dragon! And this is a whole new scene. So, Hogwarts Legacy Deluxe Editions, both physical and digital, come out Feb 7th. The base game itself comes out on Feb 10th. Yes, you can buy the Dark Arts pack separately from both from um, PlayStation Store, the Xbox Store, and the Epic Game Store with the Steam Store, so you can buy it on both storefronts on PC. There's nothing new or anything about it, just you can do anything. You can virtually go full um, evil, I think. Though, that's only if you want to play Silver and Style. Uh, yes, there's in-game purchase optional, which you can do from the main title, after the main title from the main screen. Uh, yes, offline play is enabled, so you can play this offline to your heart's content for as many hours as you want, well and truly into the night. Yes, there is a day one patch, though when I get my PS5, I'm going to be a little bit late to the party on the PS5 front, but I don't care. I can play it at night to get to where I'm up to on the Xbox Series X version, and trust me, it's not going to be, not going to take me that long on the X, on the um, PlayStation Five when I get it. The PlayStation Five console. So experience Hogwarts in the late 1800s, which is 1890, 90, 1890, 1891, I think. Not sure. Yes, we can do the Avatar stuff for this, the House Bundle and the Magical Beasts, or the Magical Creatures Bundle. The Deluxe editions do come with both. Base game only comes with these. Deluxe editions come with both, including the Dark Garrison, Dark Arts 
Garrison Hyatt. So, uh, pick your poison. Right here. PS4, PS4, and PS5. If you go with the PS4, it's April 4th. Same with the Deluxe Edition if you're pre-ordering on PlayStation 4. You won't get that until April 4th. For PlayStation 5, it's the 7th of Feb for the Deluxe Edition, 10th of Feb for the base game, and we do actually have a bit more news. So let me just uh, pull this up. So uh, Feb 7th, there is a early release Q&A and launch live stream. Um, I'm not able to attend that. Because it's at a time that I cannot be up at. And yes, it is hosted by Chandler Woods on the Wizarding World. TikTok, YouTube, Hogwarts Legacy YouTube, and Avalanche Software Twitch. Same with the global launch live stream of the base game. Again, I cannot do those at times. And no, I'm not the special guest either. At least I'm not. At least I don't think so. No, I'm not. I didn't get the invite. Anyway, thank you for joining me on the breakdown and along with the chewing up and spitting out Wizarding World's deep dive, considering that they made a number of mistakes in that video. Please redo that video again, Wizarding World. You have one more shot at it. I showed you how it was done. So please don't say, uh, Magizuologist is wanting to know what breed of dragon this is when we actually know it's a Hibidi in black. And don't say that the magical, careful magical creatures professor only has one arm. She actually has two. So if the person had it, had, was watching on a very, like, dead mobile phone or say iPod yeah I still have mine I still listen to music then yes they would have gone oh it's uh, just one arm no she has two arms literally two arms here okay just two arms It's two arms. So please go back and redo your deep dive. You, you just push false misleading information. Okay, I'm I can label your deep dive video as false misleading information because you, that's what you just pushed in it. I'm sorry, but I have to label it as such. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to leave it here on this. And you can debate whether uh, it's a Patronus or not in the comments. I'm not going to take part in it. I know this is the Care of Magical Creatures class, and that is an outline of a unicorn that is being used. And as you can see right here, the Professor's right arm comes back. So, yes, she has her one in her left hand. It's not that hard. Uh, you don't believe me? Uh, let's see. No, nope, we don't want platform nine and three quarters. We want Diagon Alley. Uh, Uh, we know how he gets his, uh, oh, here we go. Um, all vendors, make us a fine one since 382 BC. Um, Ah, 
here we are. Which is your one arm? And I'm quoting from this. Uh, well, I'm right-handed. Hold out your arm. That's it. You measure Harry from shoulder to the finger, then wrist to elbow, shoulder to the floor, knee to armpit, and around his head. As he measured, he said every other band of one has a core of a magical, powerful magical substance. Mr. Potter, we use unicorn hands, fingers, tails, tail feathers, and the heartstrings of dragons. No two other band of ones are the same. Not just as not two unicorns, dragons, or phoenixes are quite the same. And of course, you will never get such good results with another wizard's wand. So yes, you can choose whether you're left or right-handed. It doesn't matter. So I'm ending here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. You can discuss in the comments below between yourselves. And I will see you all for the spring ASMR video. Or do I make that the winter ASMR video? Um, no, I'll go with the spring ASMR video. It'd be better that way for me. So, I will see you then. And uh, enjoy wherever you are. And I do mean enjoy wherever you are because... Uh, I know I'm going to be enjoying wherever I, I am, and I know what I'm going to be enjoying tomorrow. So I'll see you next video.